See, but this is this is why a federal law should be established, though, because in situations like that, what do you do of a parent? Let, let's say, because California is a sanctuary state for these type of things, among other illegal things. If, if you're if the mom lives in Texas, which is not, you can't do it in Texas. They just passed that bill. If if you can't get it here, and the mom takes it, takes the kid to California to get it from, and the dad doesn't want to. Mm-hmm. What do you do in that situation? If they're already in California, as a dad from Texas, your home's in Texas, but your mom, your mom basically kidnaps the daughter to go get the surgery in California. What do you do at that point? This is where federally there should be some kind of line here. So I understand when it comes to states and independence and stuff like that, but situations like this, what do you do? I mean, I'm going to take it a step further. If you are a state that is basically saying that a child can get these surgeries without a parent's consent, mm-hmm. then the state should be held responsible when the shit, when the shit goes bad. Like a parent shouldn't have to be financially responsible that was opposed to that particular uh, that particular surgery. Okay, if there's parent- if there's if there's any need as far as mental health after after the fact where shit went wrong or any type of medical care that is required to basically bring you back to where you were back to normal, air quotes, that should be on the state. That should be on okay, the state that, 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 that as a parent, you don't give two shits about that. You just I don't, don't know. want you know that this is incorrect and you don't want I your get child that. to go through the process. But I'm saying there's no there's no recourse, right? Where's the accountability when the shit goes bad, right? Like if you're if you're a shitty parent, right? If you neglect your kid, if you abuse them in some type of capacity, right? If you don't provide them with food, anything like that, who comes up to the parents? The state, right? Mm-hmm. For neglect, child abuse, whatever, whatever the whatever law they broke, right? But for this, who gets a, who who who's the accountable party in this in this situation? Well, the parent again. No. Yeah. If you're gonna pre- to if you're gonna ban me. From making a decision for my my kid, right? Who doesn't know any better, right? Because we've established that kids, they can, they don't know, they don't know what's going on, right? They can want one thing one day and want something completely the other, and it's fine. I'm, I'm not saying that, I'm not I'm not saying that's a that's a negative trait. No, it's part of growing up. That's part of finding your identity, right? So to me, it's like who's the accountable party when they say, "Oh shit, I done fucked up" because I didn't. This was just something that I was feeling, and I fucked up by going through this. Who's, where's the recourse on that? I, I find it cute that you want to hold the government responsible. I, I, I do. Find I'm just saying. Cute. All I'm saying. It's very cute. That's all I'm saying. I mean, remember. You, do you think? These... It, do you think it's unreasonable though? If you're gonna come after me for I being think, a shitty I, I, parent, I don't think it's unreasonable, but I think you're naive. Is what I'm getting. I'm not to. being naive. I'm asking a question that I think should be addressed. If you're gonna, and I don't know if these laws do, right? I'm saying, if, if I am gonna be held accountable for being a shitty parent, right? See, but you have a law. Hold you accountable. That's what I'm saying. They're not even holding you accountable for. In their eyes, you're a shitty parent. We don't care what you say. If the kid wants it, the kid's gonna get it. I'm talking about a shitty parent when it comes to those things that mm-hmm. I mentioned earlier, as far as. Nutrition, housing, not being the fuck out of them, right? You're going to hold me accountable for that. But when you basically take the right away to, for me to decide what's beneficial for my, for my kid and basically saying, F you, you don't get to decide in this matter, and this shit goes sideways, so who, who's going who's gonna to be held financially responsible or, 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 or for, the, for the cost of medical procedures and mental health mental health services to basically try to normalize this person you are sir okay fuck <laughs> you <laughs> no take backs i'm this sorry is all you I, that's I all i'm think saying it's cute and naive that you think that the government's okay see 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 the response to the to the covid vaccine what I'm, what I'm saying, saying is that what i'm what i'm basically highlighting i get is what that you're saying me, I, this is yes, overreach yeah, this is overreach that, that that goes be without saying that's all i'm but saying yes it would be it would be nice because, if they, they because, implemented a law and, and and they stand behind the law that if you don't follow the law but we're also going to be held responsible for it man sure that's cool because most states most states right have a set of criteria as far as what a parent needs to do and will do because if you don't, there's repercussions, right? But 
the moment you take something away from me, you're going to hold me responsible. You're going to hold me responsible for a decision that you basically gave me no say so. And by the know, way, man. this is the like same. I said, <laughs> you're, you're, again, you're letting a, a, a kid make a decision about life altering permanent repercussions in their lives. I, I just find this. This is so. St- I don't understand, dude. I really don't. I don't get it. I, if I were to put a tattoo on my toddler, would I be arrested? Yep. What if I were to put a tattoo on my four-year-old? Would I be arrested? Probably. Ten-year-old? Yeah. There's a certain age. I think like me, the teens. I think it's like fifteen or I think it's sixteen. In some states, I don't know where, where exactly, but there are certain. What about my eleven-year-old? If I were to get think. a nice deep black tattoo for eleven-year-old, is that okay? So I, would I be held responsible for this type of stuff? Yes. Well. Even then, that's better than having your kid chemically castrated. 